All right, so the first thing that we need to do is to create the canvas size, which should be, let's do a paper size canvas, which is 11 inches by 8.5. All right, now change the background color to whatever color you want. You can change it to your favorite color, just not white because the actual ID card will be white. So we need a contrasting color. I will select green for mine. So that bottom layer where it says background color, and then it changes it for you, okay? Now, the next step that we want to do is to create the actual card. Now, there are many different ways you can do it. You can do um, use the symmetry tool. You can use the grids to create um, a perfect rectangular shape. So to turn on your grids, you want to go to actions, which is, it looks like the little wrench is right next to gallery. Mine is highlighted. And then the second option is canvas. You want to go to canvas and it is the third option down drawing guide. There's like a little knob. You want to slide it to the right and then it turns blue. And then if you want to change the size of your guide, go to edit drawing guide. And right where it says grid size, I'm just going to move mine up and down here. You see where I'm sliding that? You can change the size of your grid if you need to. Okay, and then we are ready to draw the rectangle. So the brush that we need is the monoline brush from the calligraphy section. And the icon for the uh, calligraphy section is that little cursive A. Let's go to calligraphy and then monoline is the third brush from the top. And this gives us more crisp kind of corners. And I'm going to try this. Let's see how it turns out. My rectangle, please work. All right, so the shape is not exactly how I want. So I'm going to hit edit shape right in the center. And then that gives me more options to make my shape a little bit better. And fortunately this worked. Okay. Now, once you have the shape that you want, you have edited it, you have made sure everything is closed um, so that we can use the color dropper tool to drop that color in. If you try to use the color dropper tool and it does not work, chances are you have a tiny hole somewhere. So I do have a small hole. You see that? So I need to close that. Let me show you what happens if I don't. If I try to fill it, it fills the entire thing, which I don't want. So I'm gonna go in and patch that little tiny, tiny hole. Okay. And then I can drop in my color very, very easily. Okay, and I'm just gonna explain the next step. We're gonna create like a little hole in the center of the ID and that's the part that you put the, the cord through to wear it around your neck um, to have a lanyard. All right, so let's go ahead and set the eraser to calligraphy monoline as well and not the paintbrush, the eraser. You want your eraser to be pretty large so that we can make a nice size slit in the center of the, uh, the ID. So on this same layer here, you don't wanna do this on a separate layer. We wanna do it on the same layer. We want to create a slit. I'm gonna make mine a little bit bigger. All right, so now what we wanna do, let's add a new layer, okay? And then you wanna choose whatever color you want for your strips. I'm gonna choose black, because I like black and green and pink together. All right, so I'm gonna choose black, and we're still using the calligraphy monoline brush. Now for this new layer that we just created, we want to turn on the clipping mask, so everything that we draw stays within the shape of the ID, so we don't have to clean up and do extra work. So. We have layer one, which is the ID layer. And then we have layer two, which will be our strip layer. So let's create, um, if you select that layer, layer two, the top one, and tap clipping mask. It gives a little right angle that goes downward. That's how you know it's activated. And what I'm gonna do here, I'm going to begin to draw that shape. So I'm just coloring around and making sure that you have that clipping mask on 
allows you to um, not go outside. So again, this is on a different layer. These strips that I'm creating are on layer two. You want to draw around the top to make sure that you can use the color dropper tool. Because if you try to draw it now, it's gonna color the entire thing, which we don't want. So you have to make sure your shapes are closed so that we can use the color dropper tool. All right, so you want to have that black strip at the top and the bottom. Now what we want to do, let's create a new layer. Okay, so this should be layer three. And we're gonna create a new rectangle, okay? And this rectangle will be at the bottom right-hand part. All right, so you just need a rectangle here. And this is where we will put that barcode, okay? Now again, the barcode, once you have this rectangle here, the barcode takes like two seconds to just pop in. It's just like, adding a photo in. So don't worry about that. You can always come back by utilizing the separate layers. Um, we can come back and edit different parts of this later. And what we want to do to insert that barcode picture in, I'm going to go to the actions tool, which is the wrench. I'm going to go to add, insert a photo. I have mine right here at the bottom. And I am just going to go to freeform and transform the arrow tool. So let's create a new layer. Remember, each new component has its own layer. And again, we just want to draw a square. If you want to utilize the, um, the grid still, you can. Okay, and then if you, your shape is not exactly the way you want, if you go to edit shape, normally um, Procreate will give you an option to kind of refine that shape. Okay, and then the next thing that we're gonna do, we want to create one more layer and we're just going to use the quick shape tool to draw a circle over here and the lower right hand part of the ID. And these two parts need to be on two different layers because we will lower the opacity of one once we import in the image. All right, so the next thing that we want to do is to get our character. Now, my favorite anime character, and I don't know if this really counts, is Eevee from Pokemon. So I have a picture of Eevee that has a transparent background, okay? So I'm going to go to add, insert a photo. I'm going to grab Eevee, and then I'm just going to put Eevee right there. I'm going to make her a little bit bigger. Now, you see how Eevee is kind of poking out of the edge of here. What I wanna do is I want to apply the clipping mask and then it puts Eevee inside of the actual ID, okay? And even if I wanted to take her and move down a little bit, it still looks like she's inside of the picture instead of like poking out. Now we need this picture one more time. So instead of going to retrieve it again, I'm just going to make a duplicate. I'm gonna slide it to the left and make a duplicate. And then I'm going to put it right above the circle icon, because remember I told you we needed two. And then I'm going to tap the transform tool, the little arrow, and I'm gonna move Evie over here and make her a little bit smaller. Okay, and then I want to apply the clipping mask to this too. All right, now the thing is with the circular one, we have to merge the layer so that we can lower the opacity. Okay, so once I have, I'm gonna show you guys my layers again. I have Eevee right above the circle and then I have Eevee right above the square. The Eevee that is right above the circle, I want to tap that layer and then I want to hit merge down so that those are on the same layer. You don't have to combine the other two, just this one. Okay, now once you have those two combined, what we want to do is tap the end and lower the opacity, maybe to about 
Let's see. I might just do 70 for this one because I don't want to fade it out too much. Okay, so this is what those two images look like. Now, the next thing that we want to do is to um, just do a fake signature. Okay, so what we want to do is let's add a new layer, change the color to black and use the calligraphy monoline brush and i'm not going to draw my real signature i'm just going to kind of here let me lower the size of the brush i'm just going to do like a fake signature there okay it's just like a little scribble or a doodle and then the last part which is to add whatever text you want so if you want to add anime expert pokemon lover whatever you want so i'm going to do um Pokemon lover and then I'm going to take this text and move it here and if you need to change the size of the text you can also change the colors um, okay now this last part which um, is optional you don't have to do this part um, I'm just going to go back to actions add add text and then I'm going to type ID card and you want to do it in a separate color or a different color than whatever you use for your strips okay and then that just makes it a little bit more official and then our ID cards are done that is the end of the project all right well thank you guys so much